to talk about the new minimum wage we have in our studio, our guest, Francis Ukumagma, who is a financial expert. You're welcome to Business Express. Thank you for having me. All right, so this new minimum wage, what does it mean for the Nigerian worker? Wow, it's a fantastic move in the right direction. I think we must commend the president for okay. the initiative. Nigerian workers are excited because it's about 60% increase in minimum wage and uh, it will make them actually elevate most of the poverty and the institutions that we have in, in, in our environment today. Okay. However, mm -hmm. we still need to do a lot more. Okay. Increase the productivity and also expose people mm -hmm. to how they can actually create wealth mm -hmm. with little or nothing. Because the minimum wage, even as it is, is still not enough. Okay. Pe you cannot, in where the salary is, you cannot achieve the type of increase that they want. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the 30,000 we are talking about, if you divide it by 30 days, it translates to 1,000 naira a day. And if it is 1,000 naira a day, how much do they spend on transport to and fro to work? How much do they spend to eat? If you look at it and break it down, the needs on a daily basis for a 1,000 minimum wage is little or nothing compared to what you can do. 30,000. 30,000 naira minimum wage is little or nothing to what you can do. Okay. What we need to really do is to look at how we can improve productivity mm. and reorientate the minds of our people. We are going to get there. Okay. So, but um, beyond this uh, minimum wage, do you think Nigerians should celebrate? Yes and no. Okay. Celebrate because they are coming from 18 okay. to 30, okay. which is a major leap. So they should celebrate that it has improved. Mm. But no, because even the 30,000 Naira is not enough. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. Because if you divide 30,000 Naira mm. over the 30 days or a month that they actually paid for, mm. it translates to 1,000 Naira a day. Mm. 1,000 Naira a day, they take out transport of 600 Naira that they spend to and fro to work, and 500 Naira they used to eat during the break time, and what they spend on air time, it translates to a negative of 300. So how so do you see it impacting on... Non-government workers. Well, non-government market, what they need to do is to reopen their eyes now mm -hmm. and see the reality of things. We cannot continue to condole the type of level of employment we are doing in the, in the public sector. Yes, government is the highest uh, um, employer of labor. Mm -hmm. But if you look at what is on ground today, the graduates that are churned out of the university every day, government cannot accommodate all of them. Some state governments cannot pay this minimum wage that we are talking about if they continue to have the size of civil servants that they have. We need to reorientate the minds of these workers to open the eyes to the real reality that there is more money out there and productivity. If they look, open their eyes, they can actually create wealth with little or nothing. Mm -hmm. 30,000 minimum wage, if you want to get married today, you need to spend about 1 million naira. If you are eating and paying transport and other from the 30,000 naira, where will you have the money, the resources to save to marry? at the end of the day. So a graduate that graduates today and comes out of the university that wants to work and is paid 30,000 Naira might not be able to rent a decent home, might not be able to marry as early as three, five years, but he will not be able to save enough money to do that. do that. But money flows in the streets of Nigeria. So what I want government to do is to actually reorientate the minds of our people. Mm -hmm. We need to create more jobs. We need to get people to know that they can actually create wealth from little or nothing, so that they can focus on so, some of those things and enlighten more people to create more employment. And more employment means opening the eyes of a lot of people that are graduates today from the eyes of employment to entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And they require a lot of reorientation and mentorship. Okay, let's talk about the prices of goods and services. Just this morning, I stopped over before getting to the office to fix something. And the guy told me, the price was outrageous, and I was like, Is, isn't this too high? You know what he told me? That uh, after all, there's a new minimum wage. Correct. And I'm a worker, so I, 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 I should immediately begin to pay him extra. So how do you see this playing out or affecting prices of goods and services? Certainly, we are, it will affect prices of goods and services. But if you're a smart person doing business, and you want to be competitive, when people are increasing their prices, you reduce your price to attract more customers and you win. And that is where competition will come in. If we do the right thing and the right orientation is there, yes, the sentiment of what they've increased salaries so which will increase all our wealth so we can also make more money will be there in the first instance. Whereas you go on, 
it will normalize because business thrive with competition. Mm -hmm. And people who want to create competitive advantage for their businesses to make more money will have the intention of reducing their prices and all that to be more competitive to attract more business. Mm -hmm. So it's a short-term thing. But the original thing that we need to start looking at now is to see how government can create the enabling environment for businesses. Create the enabling environment to reorientate the mindset of a lot of our young graduates and to also create the enabling environment to create artisans and people who have vocational schools. So we'll have more people creating jobs to increase the number of jobs. Reorientation will make a lot of civil servants resign. For the state governors who don't know how to pay this minimum wage, they should invite us. We will go to that state and create a reorientation to show those civil servants that they are wasting their youth, that they can actually get more productive outside and make more money. They can start businesses without one naira in their you pocket. You talk about ways that Nigerians can make wealth. Can you just throw some more light on that? Money flows in the streets of Nigeria, mm -hmm. and Nigerians are not seeing it. What we need to do is to reorientate the mind of Nigerians into seeing the possibility of creating wealth if you look at the environment today, just reorientation, looking at the internet, looking at the social media, you know you can open a shop today without one naira in your pocket. All you need to do is look at somebody that is selling some wares, take the picture of those wares, and put it on the social media and put your phone number there. People will start calling you. The orientation we have in the past is that people must have money to rent a shop. And looking for have money to rent a shop, they're looking for the capital, they sit at home and do nothing. And all you need to do is to be enlightened and reorientated to know that, look, Life has moved on. Technology has come. The dynamics have changed, but a lot of people are still waiting and looking at things and doing things the way they are used to doing things. We need to reorientate a lot of our youths. Okay. Should we be afraid that there's going to be kind of so much money in circulation? In Not at all. Okay. I don't think there'll be so money. The, the, the fear of having so much money in, in, in the environment and inflation and all that is short term. In the short term, people will make noise about it, will make comments about this increase and all that, but it will die out very soon okay. to the reality of life. The days of those speculations are gone because reality is here. Mm -hmm. The body language of the president has created a reorientation of our mindset. People are beginning to think again and begin to see what they can use their hands to do and use their head to do. Your closing thoughts on this new minimum wage. What do you advise? Uh, of course, you've given so much advice already, but just closing advice on what Nigerians should do as they embrace the new minimum wage. Nigerians should note that minimum wage can never be enough. Money is on the streets of Nigeria. Open your eyes and reorientate your mind to know that you can start most business with little or nothing. Government creates enabling environment to make business, make doing business, the ease of business very well and reorientate our people from the schools. We need to reorientate and create structures in our schools to make us have artisans and have vocational schools that will train people to become entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, we, we employ a lot of people. And if we train people to be entrepreneurs and they start employing people, we'll reduce unemployment in the Nigeria environment today. All right. Thank you very much. We've been speaking with Francis Ugamaba, who is a financial expert. Thank, Thank you. you very much for speaking with us on the new minimum wage. Thank you for having me. All right. So the dollar steadied against a basket of currencies on Friday after hitting a 2.5 week high overnight. Let's see how the Naira is exchanging for other international currencies.